Right, today we're going to take a look at a reggae solo built using the A minor pentatonic. So some phrases might feel a little more complicated than you're used to or they might feel pretty easy depending on where you're at with your playing. But this is just designed to give you some ideas of how to play over this progression. Now the progression is pretty straightforward and I'll get a clean sound going here. So basically we have an A minor chord, turn that down a bit, a D, F, G and A minor with a reggae rhythm. We're not going to worry about the rhythm today. We're going to worry more about the solo on top, okay? And that's the progression. So how I built the solo is I use the same intro to each phrase, and we have four distinct phrases, so A, B, C, and D. And so we start off on the fourth string, the D string, 5, 7, and then the fifth fret on the third string, which is a C note. So G, A, C, then I slide up from 7 with my ring finger, on the G string, which is a D note, we do a grace note slide, so it's really fast, to the ninth fret, which is an E. You'll notice a lot of the notes I'm playing are staccato, so they're cut short. I'm playing it, and then killing the sound. And then I'm going back to the D note, so seventh fret on the G string. Back to the C, fifth fret. And we're gonna slide with our ring finger, to the 9th fret on the G string. And then we're going to grab onto the G note, which is fret number 8 on the B string, okay? And I'm sliding again to the E note from the D, right? When I go, so C to E, and then grab into the G note while I'm holding down. And then I'm going to slide back from 9 to 7, which is E to D. Like that reverse slide, okay? And we're doing that grace note slide again, so that first note doesn't really get much of a note value to the C note here, 5th fret on the G string. Back to C, 5th fret. And then the A note on the D string, so 7th fret D string, twice. Now, as I work through that, that's my first phrase. The second phrase starts the same way. Back to C, okay? So we have G, A, C, E, D, so same starting point. Back to the C. And I'm gonna play this E to G. So 9th fret G string, 8th fret A string, or B string, sorry. And then we're going to an A note, which is a 10th fret on the B string. To the C note, which is 8th fret on the 1st string. And then I'm playing the A note on string number 2, the B string, twice. So it's similar ending with two times on the root note, okay? And so you'll see the theme as I'm starting here starts on the same phrase. Alright, so that's phrase A and phrase B. Phrase C starts on the same phrase. It's the same intro, same one, two, three, four, five notes. And then I'm gonna go to the first string, D note. So 10th fret. E, 12th fret, and then on the C note, which is the 8th fret, you can add in a semitone or a quarter tone bend, just a small, to resolve to the A here. Now, we're not playing an A major chord, but in the blues, a lot of times you'll bend that C note in the A minor pentatonic, just a slight bit, even though we're playing over a minor chord here, just add a bit of flavor, okay? So even though it's not technically correct in terms of the key that that's belonging to, it's going to sound great. 
So we're gonna play D, D, E, C, and then A here will add some vibrato, okay? And you'll see a lot of notes I'll add vibrato onto uh, without specifying it, but you'll, any note you ring out for, let's say longer than a quarter note, you can add some vibrato. And then the fourth phrase, phrase C, starts off the same way, so same intro phrase. We're gonna do a sequence or a run uh, on the second position of the A minor pentatonic. You'll notice I'm not using one position of the minor pentatonic. So often when we're learning the pentatonic scales, you know, we'll go through position one, two, three, four, and, and work on it that way. But in the real world, very rarely will you see a solo in one position, right? And I don't play like that. I don't play in one spot. So once you've learned more than one position, trying to connect them is the next most important part. But on here, so I'm gonna do this little phrase on the second position, or I guess we'll say position number two, or shape number two of the A minor pentatonic. So we're going to play C, D, C, and I do a pull up to the A. So 8, 10, 8 to 10 on the second string. And then we're back to C, A, G. All right, then we're going to play A. You can do a pull off there. And I'm doing a lot of pull-offs, so like, pull off there, pull off there, pull off here. And this is an E note, so 9th fret string number 3, or the G string. And then we're going to play a C note, which is a 10th fret on the D string, to the A, the root note on the 7th fret of the D string. Okay, so that's our fourth phrase. You can pick all those notes if you need to as well. So whatever way you choose to go through it, it doesn't really matter in the end. Um, but from the start, so phrase A. Phrase B. Phrase C. Phrase D. Resolve into the root note. Now, some of it might be pretty fast. I can, you know, if we go to the speed of the song, put the loop on here. So it might feel fast to go full speed, but take your time with this. Just look at the individual phrases, see what you can do with them. Even try to make them your own, put them over other backing tracks, whatever you'd like to do. But this is a real written solo or lead guitar phrase over a reggae progression. Okay, so A minor, D, F, G, A minor. And those chords don't all belong in one key, keep that in mind. But the A minor pentatonic works and brings it all together. Um, so have some fun with this. And uh, as always, you know, students here get you full access to the backing tracks, the tablature and all that and so it's a great way to actually look at what you know what I'm doing uh, where this video is just actually looking at my fingers okay so head to the student area for any students watching this and uh, feel free to download that stuff um, but otherwise I'll see you soon okay looking forward to seeing you soon if you enjoy this subscribe